Welcome to the movie, the show where we go to Hollywood and explain why we need to see something become a movie. This week, I'm going a little different. I'm not going for a franchise. I'm going for a movie that I want to win Academy Awards. So that way it's going to be a hit and stuff. I'm going for a biopic this time around, and it's going to be a person who is a hero amongst men in San Diego, but he also has a very dark history. Someone that we all know, maybe not everyone in the entire country, but someone who was born and raised in, or not born in San Diego, but raised in San Diego. Everyone knew his name. His name is Junior Seau. Oh, I want to see Junior dark, Seau dude. the movie. <laughs> I kind of want to go with a title like called Concussed or something. I mean, growing up, every person in San Diego knew him. You didn't even have to be a, a fan of football. You, kn- I mean, I know you watch football, but aren't like a fan of it. But you know, I ate at the restaurant Seau's. Exactly, I, and Seau sadly isn't there. But just say you, everyone, if you when you hear Junior Seau, you now think of kind of his last year of living, where he went through. Uh, he had a domestic violence uh, case against him, and then also, of course, when he committed suicide. It was just a really crazy year out of nowhere. Just like, what the hell is going on with Junior Seau? And part of it, I really want to make a very, like, you know, interesting but also creepy movie about CTE, essentially. Mm -hmm. I want the movie to take place, like, in after he retires. Like, what went down, like, what he was trying to do for the community, but also the dark, like, life he was living in that no one really saw coming. Mm -hmm. Uh, He had kids, but then out of nowhere, just like, you know, broke broke up with his wife and then also, you know, started dating around. Nothing against any of that, but just he became a completely different person. Yeah. I think there's an interesting story to tell there. Mm-hmm. Definitely, it would be well telling. Like, no one really knows what happens in like someone with CTE. It's just like a lot of impulsive reactions mm-hmm. and just it, it, yeah, kind of manic behavior. Um, but yeah, no one's really looked into it. I mean, we know we know a lot of people that have gone on rampages, essentially like Chris Benoit killed like his whole family right. after you know, uh, struggling with CTE and so, and junior Seau essentially did the same mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. So I think it's not really going to be a fun sports movie. I think a lot of things <laughs> that we see with sports <laughs> movies is about like the comeback and stuff. Like a lot of people want to see a Tom Brady movie because it is an interesting story. And I think inevitably we will get a Tom Brady movie where he started out as a backup and then got his big chance and he won the Super Bowl in his first year starting. And then he starts yeah. deflating balls. Right, yeah. Then starts <laughs> deflating. Uh, that should be the name of that movie, Deflation. Deflation. Well, I guess we could go with a franchise with this NFL stories. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, NFL the, and then films. Colin, yeah, NFL films that go into theaters. But I just think that there's like a really interesting story to tell with Junior Sale because he grew up in Oceanside. He died in Oceanside. And it's just kind of cool that he played for the San Diego Chargers growing up in San Diego County. I always found that awesome. That's something very rare. I feel like even who grows up playing football, it's very rare that you get to play on the team that you supported as a kid. Yeah. So I always thought that was awesome. And, you know, growing up, even though I wasn't a Charger fan, I was actually like, you know, I always loved watching him play. I remember seeing him at like practice squads and he seemed like a really nice dude, always taking pictures with fans and always signing autographs. I didn't get his autograph. He was a hometown hero. He was a hometown hero. Until the end. And now it's now it's just everyone wants to kind of just erase erase what happened. Erase the memory of that. Yeah. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, if you will look right here. But should one action erase your legacy? Maybe actually. That Maybe sometimes. Bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. I, I like where you're going, but but this was a pretty yeah. bad act. He wait. He only killed himself, or did he kill someone else? He just killed himself, yeah. Uh, okay, th- maybe that's not that bad. He didn't hurt yeah. anyone else. He, he didn't pull a Chris Benoit. Now, that's right. a legacy that needs to be erased. Right, yeah. He was a great wrestler, but dude killed his whole family and mm-hmm. himself. Not acceptable. Right. Suicide, this is a very serious thing you could you could talk about, but I don't think it should erase your legacy. Right. Necessarily. And it came out of nowhere because he left no note whatsoever. There was, like, he seemed fine. He was struggling. There's always that talk, like, he seemed fine the day before, but he was struggling internally. Mm-hmm. All that was left was just on a napkin, I believe, when I was reading up, that he just left lyrics to one of his favorite songs on there. And that was it. Damn. Like it may, it might not have had anything to do with the suicide. He just wrote down, and that was all they were able to find. Mm-hmm. That was like recent before he died, and then yeah, he shot himself in the chest, and that's how he went. And I remember it was huge and sad news when it went down. Um, but seeing this come to life, I feel like uh, 
I know it's like kind of a like people would probably see this coming if this was a movie to be made. But I would like to see Aaron Sorkin and David Fincher kind of go for it. Because I think uh, Aaron Sorkin, he's written Moneyball, The Social Network. I think he can make an interesting story with this into a script. Is there another first baseman like Giambi? No, not really. No. And if there was, could we afford him? No. Nope. Then what the fuck are you talking about, man? And then uh, directing-wise, David Fincher has been stuck in TV, which I'm not against or anything. I love Mindhunter. I still have yet to see House of Cars, but I mean, everyone loved that show before what happened, what went down with Kevin Spacey. Another person where the legacy should die down after <laughs> what happened. Yeah. No, but there's been yeah. no conversation. We don't, why don't we don't want to talk about it? Right, yeah. Let's, let's talk about it because Kevin Spacey just got. Yeah. Like a ghost. He should stay down. I think though, most yeah. people don't even know what happened with Kevin yeah. Spacey. I think he's most kind of one of the just, first ones. Well, I don't think anyone wanted to talk about it. Mm-hmm. I think that's it's more important that no one wanted to talk about it. Suspicious. Anyways, mm-hmm. I'm not going to be the one to talk about it, so whatever. <laughs> but you're bringing up the conversation. Yeah. If you want to talk about it, if you want to, uh, if you want to go check out and figure out what happened with Kevin Spacey, feel free. I'm not going to mention it, uh, just because um, there's no reason for me to. But mm-hmm. whatever. Um, David Fincher, though, why I'd want to bring him into it, though, is not just because of working in TV. I just uh, he can make a interesting, serious film, but also have that intensity to it with the Social Network. He made a movie about Facebook, pretty interesting. You can give the credit to Aaron Sorkin, but. I just like that uh, he brings this eeriness, and so that's also what I would want to see out of a Junior Seau movie, where there's a lot of light, there's great things that he did, but then there's a darkness to him, and I think that like he can convey a lot of those scenes in a creepy and menacing way, which I would love to see, and I think this has got like you know Oscar written all over it. I feel like. Definitely, and I know who could get their first Oscar off this. Who? The Rock. Oh shit! Yeah. See, I was actually trying to think of an actor who could. G- <laughs> I know Dwayne yeah. Johnson just getting all beefed up like yeah. he was in Pain and Gain. <laughs> he needs to actually lose some weight. I feel like. <laughs> And that's when you know you like win an Oscar when you go through crazy body transformations and seeing The Rock lose some weight for this role. Like he's already buff enough, but he's like too gigantic. They need to make him seem a little bit smaller, I feel like. Then right now, I think right now he's the perfect size. Yeah. If he got to pain and gain size, he was like a monster in that yeah. movie. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's pretty awesome. But yeah, like if I think he would be good. I don't know. Who, who did you have in mind? That was just like my idea of like, oh, I feel like. I would love to see The Rock in a very serious role Mm -hmm. because we know he can act. Mm -hmm. He just makes a lot of money playing for, you know, the crowd, you know? No, that's actually who I was thinking. I didn't want to go that route, but that was the only person I actually could see playing it. And this would be a great chance for him to go into that kind of role Mm -hmm. also because every actor, I feel like, you know, they always want to do that. And I think a Junior Seau uh, biopic would be the perfect, like, start to a new career for The Rock. Mm Mm-hmm. Definitely. I, I know he's going to make that turn someday. I think this would be a good movie for that. And I think that this would also, I, I think this could end up having a good message, having that conversation that's kind of trying to be swept under the rug about, about CTE and like the impacts of it. Cause I always just think about how like rugby doesn't have any gear whatsoever, mm-hmm. but like, football has a lot of protective gear and then that like kind of forces people to just slam their heads in each other and their their brains are just rattling in this cage of a helmet essentially like if they didn't have helmets would they go as hard at it you know like or would they be more like dude i can't ram my head in another dude's head because Mm -hmm. i'm not wearing a helmet right like it's kind of weird to think about i'm not saying that that's the fix all but i'm just saying take it with a grain of salt maybe think about it Mm -hmm. would you know taking some of the pads away or do we need to adjust the rules what is it Mm -hmm. because the path that we're going down isn't the right one right you know a lot of these guys lives are getting ruined as Mm -hmm. as we've seen with sal and this could be the perfect 
example of that. Definitely. So this definitely isn't a franchise route that we've gone before. I just think that like I've seen another sports movie. We haven't gotten one in a while. We do get them. We usually see like one or two like uh, every other year, I'd say. But this is one that hasn't been talked about yet. And I think there's a great story with there. And maybe, well, it's not going to be a huge franchise moneymaker. I think it'll have legs with the box office if we went for an Oscar with this one. Yeah, it's not going to have chess with this one. Right. Or... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so let us know what you think about a Junior Seau biopic. Do you even like The Rock? Or you're like, fuck The Rock. I don't want to see him play one of my heroes. I think it's a great idea. Let us know in the comments. Also, let us know what you'd like to see become a movie. Check out next week and see what we have cooking up then.